This is the easiest rosemary oil recipe for extreme hair growth. It only has two ingredients. I'm using avocado oil, but you can use your favorite carrier oil. It can be whatever your hair likes. And then we use rosemary oil, rosemary essential oil. Now, a lot of people use this oil by itself, but you should never use any essential oil by itself. And a lot of people are confused on how to use it. I have a few rosemary oil recipes on here, but I figured let me make the easiest, most accessible accessible one that will work for all hair types. So as you can see, I am putting two dropperfuls or about 20 to 30 drops of the pure essential rosemary oil. I will link this specific one in my description box below. I buy it from Amazon, but you can get it from wherever you get any other essential oils like your local health food store or possibly your grocery store. I am now adding one eighth of a cup of avocado oil into the bottle. Please use a funnel if you have one, but luckily enough, I didn't spill any on this day. Use any medium to light oil, meaning no coconut oil, no castor oil. Those don't necessarily work for everyone and they can be a little bit too thick. Go for something like a macadamia nut oil, an olive oil, argan oil, or jojoba oil. Every time I'm done with this, I always shake it up because the two oils are completely different weights. So when I'm done, I shake it up and before every use, I will also shake it to make sure that I'm getting an equal amount of my essential oil and my carrier oil. So now it's time to apply it and I'll give you a few tips on the application process. This is my Carol's Daughter Strength and Leave-In Milk and the only reason I'm doing this is because my hair is dry. If your hair is not moisturized, adding any oil is only going to seal in the dryness. So make sure that before you add any oil to your scalp or your hair shaft that your hair is already moisturized. So if you're trying to do this and your hair is already moisturized, please skip this step. You don't have to use this moisturizer, you can use whatever moisturizer works best for your own hair type. I didn't do my hair earlier, so I just decided to show you how I moisturize my hair before. And I use a very light amount. You don't want your hair to be wet or anything like that, it should just feel hydrated. Once that's done, I move on to my oiling process. Now you can do this and leave it in your hair for an hour and rinse it out. As you can see, I'm shaking it up right before I put it in my hair. Or you can leave it in your hair for one to two hours. You can put this in your hair the night before you wash your hair, leave it in your hair and then wash it out in the morning. Or you can do what I do and just put it in your hair and leave it until whenever it is that you wash your hair next. So my next wash day will be about in the next four days. So this will stay in my hair for the next four days. I put a very light amount so you don't have to worry about it making your hair extremely oily making your hair sticky or weighing your hair down. Also, my hair is in braids, so I don't have to worry about that. Your hair does not have to be in braids. It can be in whatever state, as long as you have access to your scalp. Just ensure that you part your hair in sections. I suggest four big sections and then making smaller sections to make sure you don't put too much oil in one spot or too little oil in another spot. Also, if you have any problem areas, like right there, I have a little bit of thinning in that area. I always put an extra drop or two in that area to ensure that it's not left out. Now, as you can see, I'm still using the same single dropper for this entire half of my head. And at the back, I will just add one more drop after I get more oil into the dropper. And that that same, basically half a dropper full, is going to be able to fit my entire second half of my head. You never want to use too much oil because it can actually cause breakage, it can cause a little bit of damage because of weighing your hair down and being too heavy for your hair. It can also clog your follicles on your scalp, which can actually stunt your hair growth. So too much of a good thing can also be bad. So ensure that you use an adequate amount. Now, if you've never used rosemary oil before and you're not sure if the benefits are worth it, they definitely are and it's worth a try. They are medical grade products that are suggested by dermatologists out there like minoxidil but a lot of people don't like them because they have lots of side effects like itching sometimes you can get sensitivities like a rash or even worse things so this has very very little side effects but i still suggest you do a patch test because essential oils are potent and just in case you get a rash or any reaction just do a little patch test first 
but if not some of the amazing benefits of rosemary oil are it promotes nerve growth which is one of the very few essential oils that can do something like that it improves the circulation on your scalp it prevents itching and dryness because it is antibacterial and antimicrobial it also boosts hair growth by stimulating blood flow to your scalp and it even prevents premature graying and premature hair loss now here is one thing i always suggest every single time you use any oil on your scalp and this is to follow up with a scalp massage scalp massages are amazing because not only do they boost hair growth by themselves because they stimulate your scalp physically they also help the oils that you have applied to absorb really well into your scalp I ensure to show you how I do my scalp massage starting at the front so that you can see that I am only moving my scalp around. I am not moving my fingers around my scalp. When you do a scalp massage, you don't lather your scalp like you're shampooing your hair. It's more like you're just applying gentle pressure to your scalp and then moving your scalp around just to stimulate those follicles and open those follicles so that they can better absorb all the products and the nutrients that you have just put on your scalp. If you do an oiling treatment or you oil your scalp and you don't do a scalp massage, you're missing out on almost 50% of the benefits because the scalp massage on its own is so good and combining it just makes everything like a powerhouse. Your hair is going to respond so much better. It is also extremely relaxing and stress relieving and stress can really cause hair loss. So if anything, at least get the stress relieving benefits it also helps you feel a little bit sleepy sometimes so i like to do this at night before going to bed i usually do it for about five to ten minutes and as you can see my hands are not even shiny they are clean if you want more easy videos like this let me know bye